Now, I know what you're thinking. You're wondering about Ragnarok. I was talking about it earlier, you might remember. And it's still probably lodged in your brain like a piece of depressing shrapnel. And you know that I was joking around, right? But you wouldn't be human if you weren't thinking about it a little bit more now and wondering if you could survive it. Well, I'm going to ask you a few questions. And I want you, when answering them, to try to be honest for once in your shithole life. <laughs> now when I ask the question, if the answer is yes, raise your hand. If it is not yes, do not raise your hand. It's a system that I just made up. <laughs> How many of you live in a house that is at least 1,000 feet above sea level? Mm. <laughs> yeah, not many. Samuel, you do not live in a house that is a thousand feet above sea level. He lives on a hill. <laughs> you may put down your hand. How many of you live on a luxury cruise ship? <laughs> or some other boat-like conveyance or houseboat? that can cruise for an indefinite period of time atop a giant tsunami of blood. <laughs> I see. How many of you have begun to hoard your own urine? One, two, three. Yeah, that's about right for this crowd. That's pretty typical. Does it have to be your own? Is that the question? No, if you're collecting other people's urine, that's fine. Oh, uh, good. Do you have a pit in your basement? More of a tub? Um, how many of you have read the book, Eat, Pray, Love, by Elizabeth Gilbert. Yeah, a lot of you are lying. <laughs> a lot more hands should be up in this room. But that's fine. Of those of you who are brave enough to raise your hands, how many of you, when you opened the book, Eat, Pray, Love, by Elizabeth Gilbert, found within it a golden ticket <laughs> entitling you to a seat on the giant space ark that Oprah Winfrey is building in secret right now. Yeah, you're right. You're right not to raise your hands. If you raised your hands, you would be marauded. How many of you own a dog? Yeah. Yeah, okay, clapping was not an option. And I'm sorry if you love your dog that much. Because you people who raised your hands are all shithold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Things are just going to turn pretty dark over the coming year before December 21st. And I don't want to sugarcoat it for you. But I know that it is human to deny your own mortality. So let's play a little hypothetical game. What if you do survive? What if you survive the Omega Pulse and the Blood Wave and the Ancient and Unspeakable Gods and the Dog Storm? <laughs> How are you going to continue to live in the apocalyptic wasteland that follows? Are you going to raise your own crops for food? I'm sorry. The ground has been poisoned for a thousand years, and the only rain that falls now is old pennies. <laughs> are you going to scavenge canned goods from abandoned supermarkets in order to live? I'm sorry. Your can opener no longer works because of the Y2K bug. We had it all wrong with that Y2K bug. Came a lot later and was not interested in computers at all. Just small kitchen implements. Maybe you're kind of looking forward to it. 
Maybe you're like, you know what? After 90% of the population is eradicated, maybe I'll have some time to myself. Maybe I'll finally get to read all those books in the library. I'm sorry. You just stepped on your own glasses. Now you're dying of sexist and irony, nerd. The fact of the matter is, we, especially we, in this room, are creatures of civilization. We are not runners or jumpers or fighters or punchers or sometimes not even walkers. I personally am basically an asthma inhaler cyborg. Without it, I will not last for more than four days. And that is why I am stockpiling asthma inhalers in my own security bunker. I have two, actually. I have my survival brownstone in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And I have my panic suite at the Chateau Marmont. And there's a tunnel that connects them, of course, because I'm thinking ahead. Because what if I come over to visit? Think of how embarrassed you would be if you were empty-handed. What else should you stockpile? Let's see. Water, obviously. 500 gallons, at a minimum, of purified water, plus 1,000 effervescent caffeine tablets, plus 500 kilograms of raw taurine, so that you can make your own energy drinks. <laughs> now, you will need uh, some shelf-stable food, of course. Uh, I recommend uh, in honor of my friend Paul F. Tompkins, uh, pie filling in cans. <laughs> because without pie filling in cans, <laughs> how will you know that your life has become a disaster? <laughs> may I say it, Paul? Yes, you may go. All right, here's how it's going to go. First, I'm going to eat this pie filling. <laughs> then I'm going to eat you. <laughs> Eating other people suggests the next thing you need to stockpile other people. <laughs> Start stockpiling your friends now. Try to convince them to go down into your security hole now and then shut the door so that they will be weak when Ragnarok finally comes and you'll be able to boss them around. And then you can have fun with them and you'll have companionship and you'll have someone to pass the time with and play Scrabble with, not Bananagrams. That is an abomination. <laughs> there will be law and order in this new world. There will be rules and a board. Do you understand? You also need companions so that you may repopulate the species later through joyless copulation. I stress joyless. Do not stockpile your lovers. This never works out. You will, of course, need to start hoarding your own urine, but also mayonnaise. Look, I know everyone has their favorite between the two. I don't want to get into this fight anymore. The reality is you're going to need both. Now, urine is a fantastic product to have around the home, as you know, sir. <laughs> it's easily made at home. Its high ammonia content makes it a natural disinfectant. Uh, its high nitrogen content uh, allows you to pee all over your yard in order to start refertilizing the soil. It is a handy test to find out who in your survival bunker has been stealing your asparagus. <laughs> You can put it into a plastic spray bottle and just spray people with it. <laughs> Thousands of uses. Mayonnaise, by contrast, is a fantastic hair conditioner. It is also a great uh, topical anesthetic. Uh, if you get a, a sunburn, you can put a little mayonnaise on it. You get a sunburn on your face, you can put it on your face. You also get a great short-term albino mask. <laughs> If you have kids, spread out some garbage bags, put a thin film of mayonnaise on them, you get a slip and slide. <laughs> Don't throw it away after. Leave it out in the sun for a few days. You have a handy poison. I'm going to save that mayonnaise for your salmonella garden. 
I also learned while researching mayonnaise, and this is absolutely true about mayonnaise, and my favorite fact about mayonnaise ever, mayonnaise is great for getting out urine stains. <laughs> which you are going to have in your home urine workshop. So, to my mind, advantage mayonnaise. But as I say, you need both. Now, it's amazing to me that people do not make even these most basic preparations for Ragnarok. And the reason isn't that they're afraid, it's that they're embarrassed. People don't want to drink their own urine when they're not even in college. <laughs> people are afraid that walking around with mayonnaise in their hair is going to make them look crazy. But this is ridiculous. You should not be ashamed. It is not so much that we are afraid of the end, but we are embarrassed after we have made so much and destroyed so much and created so much and loved so much that we don't go on forever. And it's sort of embarrassing to admit. But don't be ashamed. Death is a very common problem. <laughs> the end of the world happens to all of us once in a while. So to get you started, I brought along a starter pack some mayonnaise. <laughs> now this is really just to get you going. Don't think that yeah. this is all you need. Am I getting into the balcony yet? Now, as for urine, I'm, I'm not going to pee on you, don't worry. Uh, but I did have to get a substitute. The next best thing to urine, of course, is five-hour energy drink. Now, this is going to hurt you. It may take out some lights. Okay, hang on. I need to put down the mic to get these dispersed properly. Quickly, I had to devolve into prop comedy. 